Well, this is new and different for me down here. And uh, intriguing. So we have wall. And it has been going the entire way down into these woods. Up where I parked. I'm not sure if this is from logging. And so one of the big places that we've been detecting for years is... Well, we're, we're on the chunk of property. It's massive. But we are always on the north side. I've never entered from here. One, because it looks terrible from the proper road. And there's a river that cuts it in half. And it is New Hampshire. And there could be anything out there. So today is a let's just go see what's out there. We have the detector just in case, but again, we have walls that go this way. And as far as we've gone from on the other side, there's walls coming this way. It's just huge. So onward. Even if this is a logging uh, road pass we're taking in, they went this way because it was the path of least resistance. And this is good. So we're squaring off, leaving the squares that would be associated with the road up there and the farms that are up there. But the wall keeps going, which is what we want. We want depth. We want it to keep going and not just get to the end. You know, and it's a dead spot, terrible land. It is rough. It is definitely rough out here. I've actually been putting this one off for a while, but it gets to that point where it has to be done. And if this is a logging entrance from, say, the 30s or 40s, they definitely would have taken the path of least resistance. Not like nowadays where they can blast into the woods wherever they want. Back in those days, they would have taken an old cart pass, gone through an old farm, or whatever. Okay, I would say a quarter mile in. Second square. We're at the back of it. Again, this is blasted through from the loggers. And our wall keeps going on. And it looks like this is the path that they took. So that's the path we will take. I'm actually really surprised. The walls come this far down. Huh. And that to me looks like old stone bridge. Definitely. Hmm. Well, I just checked my watch. I'm almost at a mile, and this thing is still going with no signs of improved land or anything else. The thing is out here, that could go all the way across town and then across the next town. I just can't in my head think of on the other side where that would connect because I've never come that far down from the other side but this is wild it's uh not good at all land wise either way we're gonna keep going and you can see how long ago they logged down here that is a big stump. I think I can hear the river. It's one of those 
ones that sometimes you can cross right over it, you know, because it's rocky and shallow. And then in some spots that I've been to on the other side, it's it widens out into wetland. It's just getting thicker and a bit more burly out here. There's a small brook feeding into our river. To me it looks marshy out there. I hope we don't get stopped by that because I'd really like to make the connection to the other side. Okay, well either good or bad, our wall finally, that whole stretch for 15 minutes, uh, it didn't break off. Oh no, it does. It's a it's a four-way cross. Don't nope, make that a three-way cross. So that's the direction we've been going in. And then finally at the tail end. That had to be that had to be a half a mile of a square easily down to the back end here. Holy cow. God, it just again, it always makes you wonder why i'm sure it looked different centuries ago but still massive looks like our cross wall the new wall the back wall goes right down to the river yeah, it sure does Damn, we are not getting across this. And that's where I want to go. And guess what? This wall, our east to west cross wall, it is on the other side of this river. So to our right is definitely still all backside of where we came down from. So I'm gonna stop following that wall heading northbound because this is where I'm gonna call it for what I wanted to explore. I'm gonna take the chance it looks terrible but I'm gonna follow this we're gonna bushwhack get ourselves a little lost and see if there's any way to get over there maybe Trying to find a line. That I can get back as well. Oh yeah, we got it. Alright. Success. We made it to this side of the river. And there's our wall. You know, I don't know, 60 feet from the brook. And those are the things that make you wonder, why not just have squared it off at the brook? They just had to come over this side and square it off. Crazy. So we are, we are way out in here. About a mile and a half I've gone. And the wall and the river are starting to 
separate, which means I've got to take one path or the other. I can kind of skim in the middle, but if it gets too far, then I have no point of reference getting out. But with all this wall out here, there has to be some type of travel path out to here, leading, you know, out or back in. It's definitely not improved land, but again, I've said this many times, until you've hiked all the way out along these walls, you just don't get the significance until you do that. I mean, it's, it's unreal. And as you can see, this thing's been here a long time. So, I don't know. I can't believe I haven't seen anything else. But then again, it happens. Well, I'm just gonna keep heading that way. Uh, I've lost the wall and the river, but I'm not sure if those are old tire marks. That's the other thing. I haven't seen any signs of um, movement from loggers. Maybe this is it. There are stumps and stuff around from logging. And I have a weird scent of action figure rubber plastic. Strange. Well, let's see if this is anything. Other than that, I'm getting to the point of I have to turn around. Yeah, it smells funny out here. If you're, you know, close to my age, decades old, you know what Star Wars figures smell like. Oh, this is definitely a beaten path. Whew. Which is great, other than the fact that we've seen walls. But this is the first sign of life outside of that. Huh. Crazy. And it's going up on top of a hill. Which is always good. Well, I lost that travel path. And I am in the middle of Nothing good. Wow. It just opened up into this. So now I gotta go back and try and find where that was. Couldn't find our ruts. Headed for the sound of the river, because uh, it's a, one of the few points of reference. Well, and oh my god, the major sign, or a major sign we've been looking for, a colonial bridge all the way out here, holy cow. Oh yeah, look at this. River embanked going right into where we were just getting lost. So that those old ruts, in a wrong about way, led to this. Wow, I can't believe this is out here. That is a great thing. So, where does it go that way? And kind of a ways up in there is where we saw the ruts going up to the hill into the plateau and it just broke up. This is crazy. I was just gonna turn around. Wow. Oh, yeah. 
shouldered. Well, we'll follow it up in northbound because that's the direction we've been moving in. Take a look around. And then I'll have to pick it up again another day. Because I can only get out there so far. Comfortably get back. It just turns to nothing. See? See what I mean? You look back, it's nice, clear, shouldered. And then you get up. And it just turns to lumps, rocks. <laughs> it's the way of the woods. Yeah, it just turns to, can't see anything. All right, I have an idea, the bridge. Actually, we'll start back here. I don't know, 100 feet before the bridge where it starts to bank. Probably gonna be ammo. And iron. Nothing. Well, just finding this is remarkable enough this far out into the forest. So now we have two uh, directions from this point of interest in the future. It's weird that it gets over here and just, you know, disappears. So I'm gonna take a chance, I'm gonna cross. It's definitely taking me in the wrong direction, but we'll go a ways and then I'm just gonna have to beeline it somehow over to where I entered. This is remarkable because you generally don't find bridges that large out in, you know, this terrible of land unless there was a, a real good need for it to be in and out of here. All right, this ought to be interesting. Oh, it ain't too slick, but it is slick. God, same thing. It disappears. Wow, this has been out of use that long. And nope. Same as the other side, hundred and some odd feet, and it just completely gets like this, disappears. Unreal. Well, I'm going to have to hug the river. Me going up into that, trying to get a mile and however long it is over. Is just asking for it. Well, I'm back where our wall meets the river and where I crossed. But I said it earlier, there had to be some type of travel path over with these walls. And there it was, that bridge. That is a, a remarkable find, actually, for as much time as I spend out here to find anything different is like, whoa. And there still could be old home sites out here. It's just, it's seen some changes in a couple hundred years. Look how dark it is out here. They said it's not gonna rain for a few hours, but we will see. So here we are, again, in the woods of New Hampshire. I am back where in the last video, I went all the way out there, like a mile, in a third maybe and found that old colonial stone bridge with no ability to see where it went on either side of the river a hundred feet from the river 
crazy. And it's kind of driving me crazy. That's why immediately I've just got to go back down in here, get to that bridge, and see why. Somebody had to be living out here. There's stone walls. We followed one forever. And I'm looking for the old home sites or other reasons people were out here doing things, whether they were improving the land or, again, hopefully, building a place to live. All right, time to just get down in there. I didn't realize it until I left last time how much of a grade it was for that distance going down. I mean, it makes sense we ended up by the river, but when I hiked up out of this, it took me almost twice as long. That little bit of grade over that long of a distance adds up. Either way, let's get down in there. Well, I'm still trying to get there. I'm kind of doing the no-no. You can see it's, the woods are in rough shape. I'm, uh, I figured I'd beeline it and try to cut over instead of going the route that I found last time. I don't know. You know, it's two things. If you can cut a third of your hike off good, and if you can see other pieces of the land, good. And hopefully you don't get off course, run into swamp, not be able to find your spot. That would be not good. Either way, moving forward. All right, here's our old colonial bridge. And it did, it took 20 minutes. I cut a third off of my trip. So now my objective is, because I just came down all the way from the top of that hill and it was terrible. And how I cut the difference was I followed the signs of logging because they probably use that they probably repurposed the bridge, which when they were here was within a couple hundred years old. But now, knowing or seeing how bad it was on this side coming down, get on the other side and look, search, explore, observe. The thing that does make a bit more sense now is where that pass came down between two old home sites to get all the way out here and cross. For whatever reason over here, something has to be on this side of the river. As in, you know, people doing things a long time ago. tell you it's no better over here wow Well, I've followed the river up quite a ways and it's emptying out of some marshland over here. So that is a deciding point. I can cross the river. It's not too deep right here, but it's going to push me out away. I'll be going back over the river from this side, which is unremarkable yeah I think I'm just gonna head in 
see if we can find any walls. Last video, it was essentially downriver, the bridge, and then the walls were out there that kept going in this direction, but I lost them while walking around. Huh. Yeah, I'm going in there. Here's something I use to my benefit sometimes. See this? There's another one over there. There was one behind me. There's no trail, but a lot of times hunters put that stuff up out here so they can find their stands. And I use these because that means there's a path somewhat. And it also gives me points of reference if I turn around from here. So that's something. Actually, this little lift looks like something. Uh, maybe not. Huh. Because as massive as this place is, I only know of a couple ways in, you know, where it's, uh, where you can park and there's a bit of a trailhead. And then this whole section, I have no idea how you would get in here from the proper roads. Well, nothing, no signs of nothing. This is a bit after we were following the red tape, which disappeared. And it's just woods. Well, I've been taking the path of least resistance and wall and yep a stone bridge so for the last I don't know 10 minutes I've been following that it was a car path wow thank goodness for that huh And right to a break in the wall. That's why I always say how remarkable it is you can go that far out into the forest. You find a bridge, essentially an old road. And a beautiful wall. And it does continue, so we shall continue. And even though I've been zigzagging all over the place, I bet you it's a good bet this goes behind me back to the bridge. Where does it go that way? Another little bridge. So that's three out here. Well, I'm still going. And it's still going. Unreal. Oh yeah, see it dug right out into the side of this. That looks dug out. Oof. I've hiked two miles. Not necessarily in or line of sight because of all the back and forth. This thing just keeps going. And if somebody built a house out here and it's even a hundred feet off the sides, it'd be a hell of a time finding it. But it just doesn't look that good. 
and I've got to almost be connected to where Dame and I have been up there. So the only thing I can really do, so I'm not any further out, is walk this back and just keep checking the sides. That's a long distance to go without somebody living. Back in the settlers days, they would be within a quarter to a half a mile of each other just because of the size of the plots and I guess safety reasons. All right, back. Oh, the impossibility of this. I've been following the cart path back and I got onto this little hill. I literally just turned my machine on right here. Oh, where is it? Eighty one. So it's it's literally right in the cart pass on top of this hill. even tell when it's an old road. It's tight. Not to mention the roots. How is that even possible? Oh, oh no, wait a minute. I just flipped the lid. It's a memorial penny. <laughs> that is still crazy to think that I just walked around all that distance, turned on my machine, and bang, that signal. Well, old road, kind of an old trail. You never know. That is still, wow. I guess I'll check around here some more. That's just crazy. Well, the cart path, wagon trail, old road led down to the big proper bridge. So that is connected. I didn't find anything else. That penny was just a ridiculous shot in the dark and uh, this is gonna drive me crazy there's no doubt about it but I gotta go and there's no other choice but up and out the way I came in 20 minutes of just up Mushy. Well, that's been sitting there a while, huh? It's in the middle of nothingness. Middle of nothingness, correct. So I'll try to make this intro short for those who have seen or have not seen what I've been doing the last few trips so hiking out into this massive piece of property I found the colonial bridge going over the river and the next day I found two more bridges definitely an old road cutting through this huge piece of property now Dame and myself last time you and I were out came down from the north to the tail end of the old farm right 
where there was activity. We weren't sure if that was a car path. It does connect to the bridge road. We'll call it that. Well, doing more research, I came across an early 1900s topographic map that shows two structures out on that river. In this. In this, and it's got to be logger related. I, it doesn't make sense that there would be cellar holes out there because it's not mapped before or too far after. Right. So we just hiked 30 minutes from the north because my first two trips were from the south, which was almost the equivalent. That's what we're gonna go look for. Mm. It and may be a day of not detecting, but looking. <laughs> and there may not be visible signs. Exactly. So here's the thing. Because of the trail that we took on the way in, it's on the other side of the river. And we're hoping to be able to get connected to on the other side of the river because that's where it's marked. But again, our only option from coming in this way was this side. So here we go further. Well, at least we're well momentarily starting to get out of the swamp. This place is so huge and just like when I found the, the bridges days ago, it was mind blowing because you walk through all this crap and then all of a sudden somebody was here a long time ago. Dan's gonna take a look up there. That wall that we were just sitting on is way out there. And again, being New Hampshire, we're inside big squares. Despite how bad the land is, our river is still to the left. Swamp behind us. They still walled it all in. And it's really a couple things today the possibility of finding old colonial sites because of all the walls and that bridge road. But those two marks on the topo, we would like to find the loggers camps because they would have been out here before. I mean, it was right before the invention of the automobile and they would have been cutting everything by hand. Anything or is it just a bulb? It's a bulb, but and where it is flat, it doesn't look like anything was going on. But the trees change significantly to more hardwoods. Old. Up, up the hill. Older. And and more certainly more clean. Huh. All right. Well, let's get across this river. All right. Sounds good. All right. River crossed. Not too bad. And we are on the side where it's marked. And I would say we are far enough on the north side that we shouldn't have missed it entering. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if there's two marks here, we came in far enough up. Right. Following this river, we should pass it. Hopefully. I'm just keep looking. There's a good lift up there compared to the swamp down here. Nothing reasonably suitable for a landing, I would think. That is the difference between this one and a lot of the other ones. Before vehicles, so 
if we find any ruts, they're going to be from wagons. I mean, it's getting to be less and less diggable or even, you know, flattenable. But we are in a section of the river where it's running pretty steadily and uh, so as a water source more likely than swamp zone. But I see the bridge from here. Do you believe it? That is <laughs> anomalous. Look, look how far you just walked. I know. <laughs> and why build a bridge and shore up this side if you're not going somewhere. Right. This took an investment of time and resources. Nice shoulder, huh? Lovely. So you can see why I immediately messaged you with a picture going, look at this. <laughs> That's a big proper. There's a wide span. It's got to be 12 feet across. And that's not Triple C or Youth Conservation. It's Ooh. not loggers. Ooh, that's ancient. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it goes up into where we were. It does, it connects. It, it, but it's not nice in there. No, and I followed it all the way to where you and I were last time. And again, there's two more bridges beyond here. There's one wall, which cuts this square. Mm -hmm. And then this way goes up to the next proper road, about a mile and a third, right up between two home sites. The whole thing about it is, with the two proper roads that are up there connecting all those, you would not come all the way back down through here unless you live down here. It's too far than taking the old roads, it's, older. It's, it, otherwise, it would, it would be a folly in every sense. Three Bridges. Three Bridges Road. Three Bridges Road. But I really think the way the loggers camps are marked on the topo as far as I could line it up, uh -huh. the first one should have been back there. Absolutely. Like, right there. But Unless they're deeper in. in and then, but there's only a couple of flat knobs back there. I know. All right, let's uh, have some beverage and walk around in circles. Right. So we're gonna do kind of what I did the other day, being the bridge leads in here there's one good lift up there that's where i found that ridiculous memorial penny in the middle of nothing 81 it's a memorial penny <laughs> and just start scanning if these guys came in from this direction they would have put their camp somewhere on this side of the bridge well trying to think of it logically. We already lost the car path. See how easy it is to uh -huh. lose? Hey, does it uh, run that way? It See ends it? up over there, but I think it's more over this way. Right, there's a band of ferns over there. That... Well, we're heading to that little hill. Yeah. <laughs> no. Whoa. See what I mean though? This is like the best piece. Right. It's up out of the, the flood plain and the car path is somewhere. I'm trying to, still trying to find it. But this is the best spot. Okay, so this is where the penny was. So the car path, which you can't even see it, goes up that way and it's grooved into the side of the hill. And then it obviously goes behind me. Think how far off we just got. <laughs> but this is where I would think it, one of them would be, Dame. Seems like that is extreme deviation from the topographical. Yeah. Huh. 80s. 
again, like the other day. Oh, it's big. Pull a tobacco tin. That would be great. Yes, it would. All right, get us at least into the neighborhood. But then again, there it is. That's a big one. Oof. So, let's say a mile and a half that way from the furthest known or closest, closest. known home site, yep. Colonial, and at least a mile that way. So, could be from early 1900s loggers. Easily. Or it's from the potential whoever else was living out here. I don't know why they would bring their oxen out here unless they were logging, but that's in in colonial times, a mile and a half Oof. is that's that's like danger zone far. Right. That's why the colonial farms that we find have small squares and their acres. Yeah. Very small that you could actually plow it in a day, you know. And Ma could hear you calling out if you, you know, busted your ankle. Right. Huh. Well, that's a good thing. And so you guys know, we're not in the car path. This is off. So that wasn't dropped, kicked off during travel on the road. Well, 15 feet away. It's a shotgun shell, but it could still be really old. Woof, can't even read it. Still, two targets within that short span of time and space. A lot of signals were up here. It's a 22 slug. See, the thing about the ammo is the 22s still are mid 1800s. I think I read a while ago. Actually, let me check something. Let's see what your squeaker was. You got an oxen shoe too? Another massive one. Uh, so this is. Say these guys were here, you know, they were documented here in, or the structure was documented here in the 1901s, pre-1910. Um, I mean, if they were cutting anywhere before 1920, they would have been using oxen. Right. And, and sledges. And chainsaws of the 30s. Right, exactly. So, we're on, we're on their harvesting zone. I don't think that they were living down in that crap. No, this hill behind me is pretty nice. Right, and uh, a paper casing, I mean, that's early 1900s up until they switched to plastic. And I just looked it up, shotgun shell was invented in the 1860s. Right, brass casing, full casings. And I just dug a 22, which also could be mid-1800s. Yep. But that's a lot of activity, that's... That's uh, five targets in the abyss of the forest. And they weren't hiking in here daily. They were living out here somewhere. Yes. You're on a pretty nasty slope, too. That was my intent. I came down and wanted to just sort of traverse back up onto the flat in case I could... Because when you're on a slope like this and you're bumbling along trying not to break your ankle you will catch the impressions of right. foot travel um, and that's what I was hoping for because I didn't coming in here there was no aside from the road there's no like footpath no 
even the land doesn't want to funnel you down smoothly into this direction. No. I, I figured I was going to go down onto the road and swing the road up. I couldn't even find the road. <laughs> Yeah, it's some it's somewhere off this edge somewhere. Yeah, it's it's very easy to get confused and lost out here. This is my third day and you walk a couple minutes away from where you were. Well, like our backpacks are somewhere and you can't find where you were. I don't know where our backpacks are. We we spend, this is where we spend the most uh, of our brain time is in this environment. And we came up, I know the saddle is here. I couldn't immediately just walk to my backpack, which is <laughs> bad. All right. Well, this is the most convincing looking area. Still two oxen shoes, three pieces of ammo, the ammo. We don't know. The oxen shoes are definitely old. It's gonna drive us crazy. Uh -huh. If they were up here for any extended period of time, would find it. Yeah. Even if we couldn't see it, would swing over it. Right. Again, that is a distance from the river. That's at least three, four hundred feet. Mm -hmm. If the topo was right that they were on the river. It's accurate for everything other, else. yeah, everything else. Well, at some point in the future, from the bridge, we have to follow that river that way. Can't uh -huh. do it today because of time, and we have got a long way to never mind get to the next farm to get out of here. Mm -hmm. So let's follow the cart path to the next farm, mm -hmm. swing it along the way. You'll get to see the rest of it and the bridges. Mm -hmm all we can do yep all right if you saw the last two videos as we walk along the cart path dame and i are in the zone where i smelt something i just told him what it smells like if you're you know close to my age decades old you know what star wars figures smell like yeah it absolutely does it smells like uh, Star Wars figure plastic. That's what I said. Action figure plastic rubber, but in particular Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Like, like the plastic uh, Jawa cape or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? That really weird. And it's just in this one area. What a weird thing. <laughs> but it, it gives. It, it washes over the 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 memory senses. Yep. The sensual memory. As soon on. as I sniffed it up, I went, oh wow, that's exactly what that is. Yep. Maybe there's a, a cache of 1977 <laughs> toys out here. That's bridge number two. It's, it's, an, it's a good size one too. It's uh, 20 feet across, the typical, you know, broad wide. Yeah. And there's our wall. So this is the big square we've been walking in forever. Where well, we crossed. Yeah. And then the next bridge is actually just beyond the wall and it's smaller. But again, enough that it was a pain to keep going through, so they built it. And so it's this square and then the farm square? I'm not sure if looking forward if we're entering the known farm where we were detecting a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. But I can tell you the square we're in is huge. It's got to be 200 acres. I'd be interested to find out if uh, the wall goes under the road. Right. And bridge number three. That thing's almost completely washed away. So as we walk down our road, you can see how much they built this thing up. There's like four foot shoulders on the side. It's 
very good. And then to this side is just hill. They must have just dug in and it cut it out classic style. Right. And I'm still swinging, not hearing anything. Super clean, man. We just climbed in up off the cart path to this hill because it's intriguing and it's been the only hill off the cart path. And you know how we feel about hills. You have to check them. Wow, it's like a whole nother world up here. Yeah. I mean, seriously. This is beautiful. Fifty-three. The top of no man's land. Oh, it's beautiful though. It's so clean. I know. And it's one of those areas that you would even think it's too far to come hunting. That's yeah. old. That's an old one. All right, well, nothing up top except a beautiful spot. So now we're going down off the other side and we're gonna take the trench. Right, but there's definitely ruts in it. And it is taking us back to the river. Do you see that? Uh, I mean, I see the road. That is up. definitely more road. Yeah. Holy crap, look at that. Again, that's more than what loggers do. I mean, in the way back. I mean, where we are, this is crazy, but it is absolutely old road. And there's the river. We were on the other side earlier. Oh, man. But as far as we keep going, it turns out we need to keep going further. It's always further. But why? This is a heck of a lot of road that we've hiked without seeing occupation. Right. And then that means that goes back towards, I mean, you're talking 20 minutes back to the, the, the three bridge road. Well, I'm going to walk that way a little ways just to see what it looks like. And then when we leave, we got to go that way anyways. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Jesus. It's kind of interesting up there, Dave. This is unreal for where this is. This is some serious old road. Oh, it's opening up. Oh yeah. This is like a hidden gem for how far out into this place we are. My eyes 
dogs have been scanning. Barrel band. Jeez. It did seem to open up. Yeah. Walking in here. Uh-huh. People doing things. Yeah, I turn it on for a few. He's got a lot of noise. And I have a signal. Impacted lead. Hmm. That's big. Now. Huh. Keep in mind, we are in the bowels of the forest. We are so far away from the farm we were walking in. Oh my God, I think the whole thing is here. I think this is it. This doesn't fit, I don't think. Oh, wow. Loggers don't use scythes. No. That's for haying. Yeah. We definitely found something. There's just too much noise immediately. That's incredible. Think of where we are, Dame. We know the outskirts of this place very well. <laughs> Holy crap. Big thing. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got. We're nowhere near the river though. No, we're not. I mean cabin site. Unless there's a unless there's a collapsed hole somewhere in here. Right. Could be a logger's camp too that was not mapped. There could have been more than the two that yeah. were drawn. Ugly sheet metal. A lot of it. Huh. Oh my god. That's a big wagon. Uh huh. Yeah, we're definitely on to something. There's just too much. Wow. A harmonica reed? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Something going on around here. You think? Yeah. That's three things, at least from the 1800s. Right. Oh, you yeah. got the rest? Yeah, I cleaved it. Jeez, though. Yeah. Huh. Whatever was standing out here, this right here, you can see it's nice and flat and clean was the spot. There's a defined floor of nail iron, wagon wheel, 
barrel bin, scythe blade, harmonica reed behind me. Pretty cool. Is that the axle for the wagon? I think it's the axle. Well, I just walked around. So the brook that feeds into the river is north of the first marked site. So this is not that. Right. I think we just found a dwelling. Yeah. A late 1800s dwelling. Small. And not dug in. It was probably just a log cabin. Yeah, because right over to the right there where you were digging the sheet metal, that's a clean yeah. square footprint of iron. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. We're, we're running out of time. It's like I almost want to walk back the way we just came in to see where that connects. But we're near that brook, which it says it's on the other side. I don't know. Uh... If it were three hours ago, I would say we keep going that way. <laughs> we definitely have to come back and scan out here, though. Yeah, for sure. Because something was going on, and there may be... Well, we're going to need to connect things. it going back then. Right. All right. Well, we did five miles, Dame. And not done yet. Not done yet. We've only... This is just... Finding this is the beginning of this. Did not find the proper logging camps but this whole road wow okay that is a wagon wheel that dame found when we were out here last video that is an axle from a wagon and I guess this would be the fourth installment of this little series of us looking for uh, potential loggers camps workers camps on a topographic map from the early 1900s we hiked six miles the other day and this is where we finished our day and it's still puzzling we had found an old cart path that came along here it goes around this massive bulb in the land a hill continues that way we have not gone any further but there were things here. There's iron, we found a scythe blade, a harmonica reed, and some ammo. So to start today, we're gonna follow that to see where it pops out and connects. There's supposed to be a brook down there on the topo that shows the two squares on the map on that side. But we will come back here to detect. We just really want to close the gap between where we've been, here, mm -hmm. way over there. Right. The in-betweens. The in-between, so. Because we found stuff here, I'm going to start swinging as we're continuing. Well, we swung for 40 feet. And this is why these old roads disappear and are so hard to follow. Jeez. Looks like it's going this way. Yeah, it's got a nice shoulder and it's... I mean, this is... This is packed and leveled. Does this go around to the... I think it's going to pop out at that nice wall. Honestly. Yeah, but this has a different feel to it than the, you know, rutted logging track. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not even worth swinging. Look at how terrible it is. What? Nothing. Nothing. Well, we gave up swinging for barely walking. It is so... Such a mess. I think we're getting to the point of too far almost uh, old road goes that way 
and what we're guessing is because the river eventually ends up there so there's a proper river and a brook that feeds it two squares it would be somewhere out here in this that looks terrible <laughs> I just say we head a bit further down the cart path until it looks decent and then head into the west towards the river and just start making our way back up to the wagon wheel sounds good if we get any further than that it's just too far right yeah um and they were doing something here this is definitely pushed we got the big dig outs but uh they weren't living here not here And this is the point because that we spotted the other day, I spotted a few days ago, or a few videos ago, is a definite dig out in the middle of nowhere. You get noise? Well, my brain clicked back into <clears throat> when we're wa walking dead roads looking for cellar holes. Right. Just the, that subconscious eye brain thing. We come around the bend, and then I see that. Yeah. Normally, there would be a little cellar hole right there. I know, look at it. And this would be the door yard. So I turn my machine on and... Got noise. At least in that... I mean... We'll find a squeaker and let's see what's in the ground. If there's anything else. There's something. Yep. Big hunk of something. <laughs> oxen shoe. An oxen shoe. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a third one in the abyss. Right. But. I know. Yeah off the cart path what he's pointing out so we're going that way until we see something or hit the river and then yeah. it's a baby one too this may be something we're on coming off the proper old road boy it's just so Lumpy. Well, the good news is we are at a point of reference being the river. So there's not too much space that distance we haven't gone, but it's back that way to the wagon wheel. Well, as you can see, we're back at the wagon wheel site. We went all the way down that way, got to the river. It's terrible. The travel path kind of ended there. We just walked all the way back up to here. So either the topo is incorrect as to which side of the brook it was on, and this is one of the logging camps, or this is a separate uh, camp, dwelling, whatever, but this is where we're going to detect, see what we can find and get some age range off of things. Big sheet. Yeah. They cut it though. Oh, you're right. Uh, it's roofing. Could be roofing material. Maybe they took their stove with them when they left. It may be. One of 
them roof nail yeah. things with the cap, right? Right. Uh, hmm. Definitely signs of structure, Dame. It's not it's not big, it's maybe twelve feet on a side. Yeah, it's not big. I mean it could have been a shed, there could have been a how a you know, a cabin across the way. But keep pulling stuff out. Can stuff? The loop is kind of odd. Yeah, oh, there's another nail. So actually this does satisfy a little bit of my curiosity. These are like first generation round nails. Mm. I was wondering if it was going to be square nails or round. So keep in mind, we're trying to figure this place out as we go. Probably what's left of a bucket. Oh, actually, that's why the other piece I dug had a hole in it. And there's the handle. Because the other piece was right there. Good area for plugs. <laughs> Deeper than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's good. Unless it's a projectile. Yeah. No, oh, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, a juice harp. No kidding. Hey. <laughs> Beautiful. That's my first complete. Is it really? It is. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Wow, oh, okay, so I mean that's pretty deep. Right, and again though, you can't really age them because they've been making them for hundreds of years. Right, exactly. Wow. So a harmonica and a juice harp. Nice. And the two trips here. Wow. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I like it. Real awesome. Good mm. job. It, I, I this know. This feels better over here. This to me is where I would think the uh, camp area would be and behind us is the junk area. So, you know, you know the routine. All we can do is just keep swinging around. Mm -hmm. Wow, great find. Thanks, man. I'm stoked on it. Huh. Mason jar lid. With insulator. And a bit of glass. Again, another product that they've been making for a long time. And there is no text on the insulator. Again, pretty deep. Is a strange shape. Ah, uh -huh. that's a familiar shape. Really? No way. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no way. That crotal bell's older. Damn. Yeah, it is. Much, much older. Wicked. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Lot thickens because so far everything we found could be late 1800s, right? Just over into the early 1900s. But that crotal bell that's way older, and we are far from the established farms. 
Jeez, man. Good pull, but it, it doesn't it doesn't give us any information. <laughs> wow. Nice. Very nice. Oh no, yes, iron button. Yep. No, I don't think that's beveled edge flat button. So that's not iron. No. Yeah, that's that's an early eighteen hundreds button. Mm-hmm. Jesus. How bizarre is this down here? I think that this was a generational landing. First cut, second cut. They came in, used the same paths. Because you're basically coming off the road, through the old farms, all the way down to the end. Till you can't go anymore. Till you can't go anymore. I mean, the crotal bell in this definitely imply much earlier than because right, we're way off the road. Yeah. But it cleans up in here. That's crazy. Mm. And it's not, it cleans up, but it's not, you don't look at it and say, oh, it was cultivated. Right. But say that was 1810, 1820, with all the hurricanes and floods, and we're right in the brook zone. Mm. And then with all the logging and a lot of people, you know, you don't realize that with all these blowdowns for the past 200 years, it turns what used to be nice and clean right. to just lumpy moonscape. Wow, good job, man. But again, that doesn't help. No, not at all. <laughs> Almost looks like a little snap button. Another ageless item. <laughs> right, but in line with the uh, I know with the button, but it is. I mean, it is an applied iron buckle. It puts it a little older. But well, your trail of relics seems to kind of follow the brook. Right, and this wasn't even a signal, it was just an iron grunt. I wanted to see if it was a, you know, square nail or something. Yeah. A button. A button. Yep, with stuff on it. I found a button. Oh, nice. Uh, flowers on it. Oh. Stuck to this thing, which had actually left an impression. And that's metal as well. So the button was stuck to that and it left an impression. How bizarre. Knife blade. Oh yeah. There's a thin edge there, thick edge there, but it's got this uh, intentional hole in the end of it, which is weird. A oh, half a scissor, is it? It could be half a scissor. I mean, but that wouldn't be the pivot end. No, no, no. I'm just looking at the shape. Right. So I'm going around and I'm digging what I would normally classify as a, a, a nail signal. Just 
This was six, eight inches down, and that's all it sounded like. Yeah, and I'm seeing the residual ashes and stuff from the fire of 39. Yep. So things are masked, for sure. But there, the, this, there was, there's more activity in this zone than the trashy dump spot. This is spread. Spread. Yeah. That is interesting. It is some type of canister, container, flattened out oil can, maybe. Definitely cool. Again, no idea how old it is. But interesting nevertheless I think I have the signal we've been waiting for oh, okay. so I'm right on the edge of the the iron bed oh that is a promising right but it sounds deep in those numbers but even if it's a coin it's still not gonna help because the age of stuff has swollen down here Right. I mean, say it's a, a King George. That means that the earliest they could have been was, <laughs> you know, 1789 or whatever. Right. Eighty-five, eighty-six. So it Ooh. is getting into that pure copper. Uh huh. Oh, be an American large. Still sounded deep too. Whoa. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. So, you know, as we're doing this the past few days, my brain is on early 1900s cabin site. Mm -hmm. As soon as we got down here and started finding older things, my brain immediately just switched over to early. Uh-huh. So something that is significant, I don't think we've ever come on to a first cut landing. Like something that we could say pretty reasonably was a, like a first cut land. <laughs> right. Let's see what that is. It's got meat to it. It's Liberty. It is definitely a Lady Liberty. It might even be hold. Oh, yeah, it's a one cent. Nice. nice. Unbelievable, Dan. It's about time. All right, let's we'll let it dry out for a few. And I'm gonna say it: out of all our years of doing this, this area is it is the most unlikely place I would have expected to find stuff. Never mind a 200-year span of stuff. Right. Without a stru a, a definitive structure or any easy way down here. Um, yeah. I mean, this is unreal. We are on the back ass end of far. Yeah. But this has been a, this two acres has been a hub of activity. 
river, terribleness, swamp, rocky, mm -hmm. massive hill, and then just one uh, avenue up to the proper old farms. But even at that, if we turned around and walked to that cellar hole, it would take us 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's us humping through the woods. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see what she is. All right, don't look now, but yeah. Get out of here. Ah! Ah! Keep going. Keep going, come on, keep moving, yeah. There you go. He ain't moving fast either. Figures he's going in the way we gotta leave. He's young. Wait, actually, we should look behind us where he just came out of. I just... You know, again, the brain's not working right. I'm dusting off a coin and I'm like, oh, a dog. Nope. Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. I've come across them hiking, but not. He was, he was coming to see us. In a position of. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. And just think, I've been out here in the past couple of weeks by myself several times. Mm -hmm. And if I was in your position looking that way, he literally walked up right over near our backpacks and the, the wagon wheel. He could have, we couldn't hear him. I just caught visual, but he could have walked right up on one of us yep. easily. Again, everybody comes down here. <laughs> well, let me check the, um, the spot real quick and then we'll do what we gotta do. Still haven't looked at the coin because of the excitement. Yep, that's how remote we are. Well, this place is just full of surprises. The coin is a draped bust, so we'll call it uh, 1797 to 1807. So with that, the crotal bell, your button, we're definitely seeing 200 year old activity. Everything else puts it in the late mid to late 1800s. Right. We have no idea what we found here. Again, we described the landscape and it's just, I just, I just can't see it. It must have been that much different. Or like you said, it's just multi-generational loggers landings in the same spot. But there was definitely something standing here. Right. And maybe they built twice here because loaded with sheet metal and that large scent was right there. Crotal, flat button, your flowery button. Jews harp, mm -hmm. a pile of stuff. Well, we are definitely returning despite the wildlife. The only thing is we can't go back the way we came in because it's an old road that is on the side of this massive hill and the river. So it's it's in and out. That's it. You're either going swimming there's or nowhere scaling. To go. <laughs> yes. Right, there's nowhere to go. Okay. Here's where we are starting. Today in the woods of New Hampshire. This is the fifth installment video of the forest we've been working down by the river, which you might be able to hear it. We're in between two old home sites, one that way, one behind me. 20 minutes in either direction. And I've picked this spot because it is the natural course going through the woods from 
where we began to where Dame and I were detecting. We're calling it the wagon wheel site because of the wagon wheel. But it turns out there's, you know, like a 200 year range of things in the ground out there. It's, it was, it's still blowing my mind. And honestly, it's a pivotal moment in what we do. We need to start looking at the woods and the ground. In a smaller way. Because where we found that location, you'd never think in a million years that people were doing whatever they were doing there. There was definitely a structure probably in the late 1800s, but you can't tell looking at the ground anymore because there was no stacked rocks, there's no cellar hole out there, nothing. It just was the weirdest place, but there we were finding plenty of stuff and we are going to return there both of us together and continue detecting to see what else we find but when we came out last time the ancient cart path that was coming this way ended because of swamp and really bad land but yet it seems to pick up back over here and it's it's easily a quarter mile. A quarter mile in this type of environment is pretty far. So today we walk around, we swing the detector and we look a lot closer to the little inconsistencies that may pop out. This is definitely an interesting stretch of, we'll call it, you know, broken land where there's no visible car path. So let's go. Let's see what it's like out here. So I'm not... Well, you know, some days I'm never really expecting to find a location or stuff. It's all about covering the ground and so I've just walked a bit, and this is our termination point. I don't know if you can kind of see it in the tree line. That's the big hill. We were on the other side. So, on the other side of the marshy spot, and it's a few hundred feet, the car path continues and goes around that hump. This would be the obvious across point but nothing stands out. But as we've learned rather recently with hurricanes, floods, and you know, 200 years of weather, and they've probably cut twice. Yeah, I would say they've at least logged twice since, you know, the original settlers were here and then Abandoned their farms All right, well Not much I can do but just keep walking around well, There's something in the ground Let's See what that is It's not like iron There's our layer of ash from the big fire and wow it is a relic oddly enough for where I am it's a scythe blade handle so that is very old and what a strange place for it once again in the gap between the two old farms, the river behind us, swamp over there, and there's just this one hilly section. I really think from this moment in time on, with that site we discovered, the woods 
are going to be a whole different place for us. We know out here is in bad condition compared to probably how it was, say, you know, the late 1700s. But we are starting to think it was really different way back. When you're finding tools for haying way the hell out here, it means something. It, I, you know, I guess somebody could have dropped it, but it just seems weird. All right, swing around some more. Bit of nail iron. Well, once again, in the middle of nowhere. An iron plate with either a screw or spike through it. Doesn't look like it was threaded, but wow. I guess the point I'm trying to see and maybe not make today, but a lot more of the land was in use way back when, despite how bad it looks now. You gotta figure after old growth cut, the topsoil was probably rich, beautiful, thick, and it's just been washing away. Especially again, after it's been cut several times. Well, I definitely stumbled onto some old logging ruts, which is good, because it could be old cart path underneath that the loggers took and I've definitely never been over in this section so absolutely I'm gonna follow that and I am picking up nail iron here and there as I go <laughs> and 50s to 60s Big iron nut. Well, that's interesting and an awful long way out. It's a pile of field stones. And it's been the first pile of stacked rocks we've seen. So, why? Are we at the tail end of a farm? I don't know. The Travel path, cart path, is getting very thin. I've lost it a couple times. I think it goes up on the hill. Either way, we're going up on the hill. Well, it's a nice little island of good land. Pretty clean. Yep. Definitely a cart path we've been following. Wall, proper break. Huh. It definitely seems a bit more burly on that side. So, did we just walk? through an old home site, an old farm, because it was decent. And this is where the cart path, you know, traveled through the entire thing, and I guess it continues on, maybe. These things are just so hard to follow at times. 
I have to see how far I've gone anyways. Over two miles. Probably just far enough to turn around, start looping back through a different section. But somebody was out here for certain. Yeah, in the grand scheme of it all, for New Hampshire standards, this isn't bad land. We have plenty of open fields in the area that are much hillier than this. So, inside the confines of that wall, out here may have very well been, you know, farming land. Well, it's definitely getting worse the further I head back on this side. But there's plenty of stumps around that they logged this section. That's a big contributor to the lumpiness now. Okay. Long while later, I know where I am. This is an old logger's landing, as you can see by the leftovers. And how oh, it's been flattened out right here. And we have wall. And I have found stuff in here before. So being that I'm on my way back, taking a long way around, I figured I'd head in this direction. I found it, obviously. So we'll detect here for a few. This is an interesting spot as well. Because of the loggers landing, there's all kinds of logger stuff, but when I came through here last year, I found a 200 year old button, but we had wall builders as well, so you never know. It didn't take long. Some type of cap. Might be to one of them very early beer cans. This uh, landing is kind of like some of the others where it may have been used a couple times because everything that comes out of here is of different ages. You know? It's one of them lead tack things that they would put into leather. That's cool. No idea how old it is, but that's a thing. So as I'm walking around here swinging, I'm thinking about what I did earlier. You know, when I go out exploring, searching, I'm not looking for conclusion. I'm just covering ground because the place is huge and as we learned in the last few videos i found the stone bridge the next day i found the road the third day dame and i found the wagon wheel site and then the fourth day it turned into more with you know all the finds 
And like I said, getting to the two mile point, that's enough. Turn around, head back, have a plan B, which is detect some place that we may find things. It just splits it up so I can cover some ground, get that done, but do some detecting as well. There's a surface find. Oh wow. Give me a minute. It's not coming out of the ground, but we call them wagon wheels, but it, it's essentially, it's the rim. So there you go. A much older thing for the location. Always surprising out here. All right, well, I'm halfway back. I dug a bunch of, you know, loggers type can junk stuff. And I'm walking the old car path trail, swinging. I just got a ridiculous signal. The numbers are just really high. It ain't deep. So we'll dig this up, I'll turn it off, get out of here. And that's it. It was a good, well-rounded day. It is a coin. I don't know if it's old. No, it's a, it's a quarter. Wow, though, still. Keep your machine on while you're walking. Because if you're gonna cover the ground anyways. That's crazy. Let's see if we can get a date. Oh, let me get a brush. Well, I think it says 1973 or 4, so it's 50 years old. It's funny that memorial I dug out in the middle of nowhere last time was a 74. Okay, we have returned to what we call the wagon wheel site. See where Dame is? That's that old wagon rim tire. And right where I am was my last target was that drape bust US large scent. And also if you missed it, this is where we were kneeling down just like we are now and Smokey the Bear came around the corner. So that was fun. Barrel and band. We begin with barrel band? Yep. Yes. So with everything we have dug out of here, we have concluded that somebody was definitely here just after 1800. Somebody else may have been here, well, up to the late 1800s by a lot of the stuff that we've also dug. And once again, for where we are in the abyss, the forest here of New Hampshire, it's a weird spot. And after what we did for hiking and intense time spent with maps we think the loggers landing we were looking for out there which we figured we were close is under swamp marshland it's big out there it's big and wet i went back through the old aerial photos and it wasn't there in 47 and it was there in the 1960s we think that is the answer to that so back again today to See what else we can find at our our mystery site. Iron, slightly conical, the connection point on top. Is it solid? Yeah. I wonder if it's a window weight or something. It's got to be a pounder. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, hung from something to do something else. Right. I'm just going through and pulling all the loud things out because we can't really get in. Uh, my goal, goal is to get into 
this thick crap. And th of. that's where the noise is at. Yeah. Just off the road in front of whatever structure it was. Yeah. I'll keep going. Whoa. Dandy button. Wow. Yep, with fancy stuff on it. Amazing. I got another really old thing. Oh, nice. Dandy button. Sweet. Good job, man. Yeah. And one of the other things that, I don't know if we pointed out in the previous videos here, there's no stacked rocks anywhere. There's no cellar hole. Where Dame is is all iron from wherever, whatever stood there. But there's no stacked rocks. There's no well. There's nothing. If it wasn't for that wagon trail coming through, you just never think there was people out here for an extended period of time, it seems. Tiny tin. The Euclair? <laughs> <laughs> I won't do the impression. No, don't. <laughs> yeah, tiptoe through the tulips with this little tin. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Geez, you know, I thought I was finding impacted lead, but I'm starting to think they're those lead nail... Oh, the nail caps. The nail caps we find on the other side of the permission. Because this is like the third one I have found that looks like that. Yeah. Nice. Button? Nice. <laughs> Look at that. I kissed it. It is a... It's a convex. Could be Tom Backer. Shank in there. Got my head on a swivel today. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, I know. <laughs> Every time I kneel down, I'm like... Oh, that, that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the confusion of the sight. No, no. Well, and that's the thing we we can definitely say after 1800, mm -hmm. but your crotal bell, that dandy, potentially this, mm -hmm. goes back a bit further, not to say this guy didn't have... Old stuff. His dad's stuff. Right. But, good job. And actually, yeah, that's where the large scent was, so... Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't... You know, it wasn't a, a leap out and slap you signal. It didn't sound tight, it sounded wider. Yeah. Either way, beauty. That 
so different kind of thing there it is it's old A file. Another one of those things that, you know, not easy to date. We can't date because they'll look the same no matter how old they are. There you go. button. Nice. It's right in that shotgun shell range. Yeah. Yeah, thin. Thin flatty with a shank. Very good. And you know there's a shape to this place. Yeah. It's all on this side of the iron bed. Because mm -hmm. I just went again walking over there. In where it's nice. In where it's nice, exactly. Yeah. Nothing. Little ring. Ah. Huh. Well, that's it. That's all we could find today. But kind of a conclusion to a stretch of how things are done. So it started out with me hiking, exploring, finding a bridge, yeah. finding the connection to the road, you and I further exploring, looking for a logger's camp, finding this strange place. Which is, we're pretty sure is not what we were looking for. No. And we keep trying to paint the picture, but it's, again, it's odd. We are a mile in from every direction of where there are old established farms. Big hill, river, swamp, cart path that goes around the hill with this little itty bitty spot, definitive iron bed, and things from the late 1700s to the late 1800s, but just a handful of each. Right. Something was standing there, but was it twice? Was it temporary, like you said? Was it... Like a seasonal hunting spot. Or two loggers landings. Right. Generational. Where people were out here for an entire season with a hundred year gap. Mm -hmm. Either way, one of the, definitely one of the coolest things, places we have found out here. And I'm glad we did. Absolutely. And it was uh, all because Charlie saw a barrel band, just a little piece of a barrel band sticking up out of the ground. Or else we, w we wouldn't have stopped. We'd have looked in and been like, eh. Right, there's, you know, 80 feet to the water. Right. <laughs> Crazy. Well, we appreciate you watching. We may pass by and through here again. We still got more. We still have to find the second loggers. Yeah. Square on the map. All right, that's it.
We have a 30 minute walk. We'll see you soon.